Okay, good morning from my page, Bilingual Storytime. I know I've been moving my spot every single day, trying to get better every single day for you guys. Can we, yeah, you can see that. Um, so hopefully the lighting is all right. Hopefully you can read the words of the books. So I'm making, I'm making my dining room table area into my school area now. So I have our old puppet friends. Got my guitar, ready to jam. And got my book for today and my puppets. Good morning, Lydia. Good morning, Lila. And um, I wrote down over here the songs that we've already learned so I wouldn't forget. <laughs> um, and if you guys are starting to have a favorite or there's something that you want to suggest, just let me know. Um, so, yeah, so we got Los Pollitos, we got Un Elefante, Cabeza, Hombros, Rodillas, Pies, and we got, we're gonna try De Calores today. Good morning, Ellie, good morning, Hannah, good morning, Abby, good morning, Caleb. I'm glad you guys are here. Um, everyone feel free to leave me some comments. Let me know who's watching, where you're watching from. Um, good morning, Ollie. Good morning, Greer and Jet. I'm so excited to see you guys. Um, so let's do a familiar song before we start our new song. It's fun to learn new things, but sometimes it can be a little bit hard. Um, but it's good to do hard things. Yay! <laughs> All right, me too. So I'll get my gallina. Okay. Senorita gallina, are you ready to sing? Yes, I'm ready to sing. Si, sí, estoy lista. Okay, so she's ready, so that means we got to be ready. Sometimes we can work on singing it in English too. That could be fun. Um, then let's do our counting song. Un elefante se balanceaba. Oh, I should get, I'm gonna get my elephant. Just, I meant to do this before. Be right back. Okay, so I have all these animals. Again, thank you to um, Daphne, Oliver and Eleanor's mom, who gave these to me. And they are so fun to have. Someday I'm going to do a video just with the puppets where they say their sounds, because we do that at school sometimes. Oh, did I take it out? All right, watch out, everyone. And we're going everywhere. Okay, I must have taken it out because I thought, oh, I'm gonna use that. All right, one more look around, and if it's not here, can't worry. We will find it later. And maybe now we can just do some other animal songs too. But that's okay, we'll still do Un Elefante. So, to get ready for this one, you can remember Uno, Dos, Tres, 
cuatro, cinco, and the rest of the words repeat every time so it gets easier and easier. Un elefante se balanceaba sobre la tela de la araña. Como veía que resistía, fue a llamar otro elefante. Dos elefantes se balanceaban sobre la tela de la araña. Como veía que resistía, fueron a llamar otro elefante. Should I go faster? Puedo ir más rápido? I don't know. I'm gonna try. Voy a intentar. Hi, Sally. <laughs> Cinco elefantes se balanceaban sobre la tela de araña. Como veían que resistía, fueron a llamar los elefantes. So maybe next time we could count by tens or something. That would be fun. Um, so. Let's do head, shoulders, knees, and toes, and then we'll try de calores, and then we'll read our story. So, I'll show you what to do on this one. You'll be able to see me. You'll be able to tell if you don't remember. Ready? Cabeza, almost rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. Ooh, I got down so low. Ooh, should I stand in the chair? Terrible role model. I've been writing on my windows. Now I'm gonna stand on a chair. All right, kids, do as I say, not as I do. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is fun. Oh, good morning, Janet. <laughs> All right, ready? Cabeza, almost rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. Cabeza, almost rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. Ojo sobre las boca y nariz. Cabeza, almost rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. And now one time in English. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Okay. Now you guys have to help me out with decalorics. I used to sing this when I was little, um, but I kind of forgot the words until I looked them back up. So I'm pulling it up. I posted a link to this yesterday. Um, and there's lots of people who can sing it better than me on YouTube, so you can go watch them. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to try. And every day I'll get better. Because when we try, every day we get better. Cuando intentamos cada día, podemos mejorarnos. There we go. Okay. So, de colores. Ooh, and I wrote the chords in my book. Try to make this fancy kitchen table studio and hey Heather. Um, still takes me a minute to get set up. Normally, if I was in a classroom, I would have my kids around say, Oh, go get me that elephant puppet. They would do it, it's amazing. But now I'm on my own. Miss you guys. All right. Try de colores. De colores, de colores, se visten los guampos en la primavera. De colores, de colores, son los pajaritos que vienen de fuera. De colores, de colores, es el arco Vemos así, y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí, y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. 
So we can practice that part. That's the chorus, and it repeats um, twice every time after the verses. So we'll, we can sing it again. It says, Por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. Which means, and that's why, a great love of all colors makes me feel like singing so joyfully. So we'll try that again. Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. All right, the second verse is really fun. It's about animal sounds. We're actually gonna need our chicken again. Um, so this verse is about the rooster and the hen and the little chicks. So we talked about this a little bit that in different languages, we say the animal sounds differently. Why? I don't know. <laughs> but it's pretty cool to learn. Um, so if we were singing it in English, we probably would say, the rooster says cock a doodle doo, and the mother hen says cluck, 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 and the baby chicks say peep, 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 or cheep, cheep, cheep. But in Spanish, we're gonna say el gallo, that's the rooster, says cara, cara, cara. What? But that's what it is. And la gallina, um, oh, sorry, that was the, that was the hen. El gallo says kitty, kitty, kitty. Right? Like if you ask a rooster what he's saying, it's not gonna be exactly what we say, right? Um, La gallina says cara, 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 cara. Kinda sounds like a chick, a chicken, right? Just as much as bark, bark, bark. Like they're saying bark, bark, bark. So silly. Um, and los pollitos, we already know what they say. So we'll try this one. Canta el gallo, canta el gallo con el kiri 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 kiri. La gallina, la gallina con el cara 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 cara. Los pollitos, los pollitos con el pio 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 pio. Por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. So there's one more verse, and there's all the English verses too. We will add them more, add more every day. I will keep practicing. Um, and we're gonna read our story. So it's called, If I Had a Dragon, Si Yo Tuviera Un Dragon. And because I forgot to show you yesterday, I'm wearing my little sort of dragon earrings. I actually think they're alligators, but they work. <laughs> Gotta use what you have right now, especially, right? Um, in this story, the little boy learns an important lesson and I want you to figure out what it is, okay? Cuando leemos ese cuento, hay que aprender cuál es la lección que aprende el niño, okay? So, if I had a dragon, si yo tuviera un dragón. Morgan, play with your brother. Morton, juega con tu hermano. Who do you think that? Who do you, who do you think that is? That's talking. Probably the mom, right? Probably the mom. Uh oh. Ooh, here we go. I don't want to play with my brother. He's too little. No quiero jugar con mi hermano. Es muy pequeño. I wish he would turn into something fun. Ojalá se convirtiera en algo divertido. Like a new kite. Como un papalote nuevo. 
Can you see that? The little brother, in his mind, he's gonna turn into a kite. Or a bulldozer. Oh, una, una excavadora. Would that be fun if your brother turned into a bulldozer? That's what this little boy thinks, this Morton. Or, oh, a dragon, un dragon. Would that be so fun? Oh wow, I didn't even notice this in the picture. It's like he is the little baby. He's got the same hat and he's got those little tiny shoes on his feet. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> All right, can you see the picture? If I had a dragon, I would be so happy. Si yo tuviera un dragón, sería tan feliz. Remember feliz? We could go for walks. Podríamos ir de paseo. Yeah, that would be fun to do. Go for a walk. Sería muy divertido. Hmm. He's thinking of some more things. Está pensando de algo más. In the little plane it says, Morton, come home. Vuelve a casa, Morton. We could play basketball. Podríamos jugar al baloncesto. Your dinner is ready. La cena está lista. You think that'd be fun to play basketball with a dragon? Sería muy divertido jugar baloncesto con un dragón. Oh. I think he just learned that he can't play ba basketball against a dragon. Pienso que aprendió que no puede jugar baloncesto con un dragón. See, there's the goal. Do you think he can make it into the goal with a dragon in front of him? I don't think so. Pienso que no. But, maybe, um, they could go for a swim together. Go for a swim, ir a nadar. That could be fun. He's gonna jump in. Uh-oh, what's the dragon gonna do? Ouch! Hey! There's no pool. The dragon covered up the whole pool. No hay una piscina. Porque está totalmente cubierta con el dragón. Well, play hide and seek. Jugar al escondite. I like this page because you can see the numbers. They didn't translate them because the numbers are the same since we use Arabic numerals. So again, kind of trilingual book. 28, 29, 30. 28, 29, 30. Ready or not, here I, listos, allá. Come, boy. Can the dragon hide? Puede esconderse el dragón? A movie? Ir al cine? <laughs> There's this little tiny dog down here. I get it in front of you. The dog can't see the movie because he's sitting behind the dragon and he's saying, yep, yep. Or he's saying, whoa, whoa. Again, the Spanish and the English onomatopoeia. So funny to me. Uh oh. Can anyone see the movie? Alguien puede ver la película? Claro que no, of course not. The dragon's too big. Demasiado grande. Whistle? Silva? Maybe they could whistle together. I know what's going to happen. Do you know what's going to happen when the dragon tries to whistle? ¿Sabes qué va a pensar cuando el dragón intenta de silbar? 
Mira. <laughs> because dragons breathe what? Fire! Remember fire from the Clifford book? Fuego. Respira then. Fuego. I guess a dragon doesn't make a very good playmate after all. Al fin y al cabo, quizás un dragón no sea el mejor compañero de juegos. You go home. Tú a casa. Oh, too bad. It's the only thing he wanted. Someone to play with. Alguien para con, para jugar con, para con jugar. Hmm. So he goes all the way back past the pool and the basketball court and the movie theater and all the places that he went. Regresa a casa para ver a quien. Who does he find at home? Quien encuentra en casa? His baby brother, su hermanito. The end. So, what lesson did Morton learn in the story? Besides, of course, a dragon is not a very good playmate. It'd be kind of dangerous and you kind of get in your way. But the little boy learned. Oh, I was going to use this. So, I'll just ask this dog, little dragon. It's also an alligator, but we're pretending. Hello, little dragon. So, even though. A big dragon might not be a good playmate. Does the little boy have anyone to play with? El niño tiene alguien que puede uh, invitar a jugar? Yeah. Who? His little brother. Oh. So sometimes the things that we want aren't the things that we need, are they? A veces las cosas que queremos no son las cosas que necesitamos. Because sometimes we already have everything we need right in our home. A veces ya tenemos todo lo que necesitamos en nuestra casa. So, I hope you like this book. Um, I hope you find something or somebody fun in your home to play with today. Espero que les gustaban el libro y que encuentran alguien en tu casa hoy que puedes um, invitar a jugar. And um, I'm going to give a birthday shout out today to... Mandy, there's three today, and also hello to Ava and Eva if you guys watch this later. Um, and does anybody want to sing again? Otherwise, um, I'm going to make a little announcement about tomorrow's video. So you guys can let me know in the comments. But for tomorrow, we are going to have Super Fun Friday. Mañana vamos a tener Divertido Viernes. We're going to read a sleepover book. Vamos a leer sobre dormiendo fuera de casa. So if you have a pillow, una almohada, and if you have a blanket, oh wow, um, I'm blanking on blanket. Blanket. Okay, I'll think of it. Or I'll look it up. Um, yep, I'll look it up. And if you have a sleeping bag, un saco de dormir, if you want to wear your pajamas, maybe you're already wearing your pajamas, but tomorrow I'm going to wear my pajamas. Um, and slippers. Um, and maybe you want to make some popcorn or another fun snack to have. We're going to have a whole sleepover. So um, tomorrow should be very fun. So come prepared. If you haven't voted on what time you want to do it, go vote on the page. Uh, bilingual story time, which you're watching right now, so you should be able to find it. Um, and let me know if you want to do it at the same time in the morning or if you want to do it at night. So let me know, make your case in the comments because some people are watching in different time zones. But um, yeah, it should be fun. So thanks for tuning in and um, see you guys tomorrow for the slumber party. And I'll talk to you guys then. So, adios. Have a good day. Day and buen dia. <laughs>